Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. I'm so happy to be back talking about Apple TV Plus original series C season 2. We're talking episode 1 which was titled Brothers and Sisters. Now this will be a spoiler discussion so if you haven't seen the episode go check it out and come back and join the conversation but like I said I'm back so happy to review these episodes every single week here on this very channel but before we break it all down do me a favor and check me out on all my other social media accounts. If you all are new to the channel well welcome to the community consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell that way you all can get the alert for when I drop new content if you all enjoyed this spoiler discussion of episode one of season two of C but make sure to like and share the video it helps out the channel a lot but also appreciate the support and in the comments below I'm assuming if you're watching this video you've seen season one of C which if you have let me know your thoughts about it but also if you've seen this first episode we got to break it down together let's talk pros cons your thoughts on the world building the new characters the storylines that it's trying to establish and kind of unfold but also let's talk about the action moments the kills that we get with Baba Voss but also let's talk a little bit about your thoughts and your theories of what you hope to see in season two and let's have a discussion about it in the comments so like I said I'm back reviewing these episodes on a week-to-week -week basis which I did was it 2018 2019 that season one came out which just general thoughts of season one again you can watch my previous reviews on each episode but I really enjoyed season one. It had its flaws, right? For me, some of the story was a little bit lacking. Some of the secondary supporting actors weren't that great in some of their roles, in my opinion, but there were way more positives and negatives for me in that first season. Number one, the commitment to the actors, Jason Momoa, Baba Voss, the commitment to those actors, portraying people without sight in this world that if you have sight you consider a witch so I love the commitment from the actors but also I love the you know representing the the blind uh you know community and having them be a part of the show and bringing that authenticity and again representation is so huge and Apple TV plus Coda now this you know I, I love what they're bringing to the platform but also, I can't go without saying the world building is great, the cinematography, the scope, the scale is there, but also, I'm a big action fan, and uh, Baba Voss, Jason Momoa, my man, those kills in season one, the brutality, the velocity of the swords and the heads and the cuts and the blood and the fatalities were incredible so i was really excited for season two exploring the other worlds other cities obviously the relationship between baba Voss and his brother and, and and just really diving deeper into this world so i was really excited for it here we are talking episode one season two as the episode opens up and the first half kind of establishes where these characters have been and, and what we're up to we immediately jump right into the action which again i can't applaud the the choreography in this show as baba Voss is taken out Ido's man and showing number one in this scene he's showing Kofu which I think Kofu in this season his thing is he's gonna have to learn how to fend for himself he's gonna have to become a man in this season as Baba Vos shows him as he's taking out the man cutting their heads off slicing them up and down he slices the man's skin off of his arm first puts the sword in his chest and pushes the sword up through the top of his head I mean again whoever thought of these fights and the choreography is fantastic because it's just top notch for me but again in this moment again it's cold fool. you got to learn how to fend for yourself man because only time will tell that you have to fight for yourself and Baba Voss daddy ain't gonna be there for you but nonetheless this is where Baba Voss tells them they got to go their separate ways Baba Voss has to save his daughter in the meantime Paris Kofu if I'm not back in seven days, I'm dead. But we'll talk about Kofu and Paris separating later in this episode. But meantime, going to one of my favorite characters, who's just such a crazy character, Queen Kane. At this point, she doesn't appear to be doing well. She's throwing up, but we'll talk about her announcement a little bit later in the episode. But she has her remaining members of the army and her, of course, her sister as they're making their way to Pion and... Going to a character I was really excited to explore, I saw the trailer and heard the announcement that Dave Batista and Jason Momoa will be going toe-to-toe, -to -toe. I was so excited for that, and we meet him, he is the Commander General Ido, and he has Hanawa in his possession, has her captured as he learns of his brother's presence, he is on his way to save his daughter, so it's all kind of shaping up to seeing these brothers go toe-to-toe, -to -toe. but it's in this opening sequence to our opening moments of the episode where Hanawa meets, uh, I believe the character name was Ren, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if they mentioned her name or not, but we see that, you know, she's keeping her captive. She's giving her food, but then Hannibal finds out that she has sight, which is huge because that means there's other people in this world that can see. And we'll talk about the, another announcement that Queen Kane has in regards to people of sight. But let's go back to this, this sight, right? As we learn from this character that her family 
that she doesn't, she's not aware of anyone else that can see like her, even though we saw another little boy that can see. So it's again, it's like there's more people in this world that have sight that obviously they're hiding their sight because she tells Hanawa that even though her people don't believe in like the witchcraft, if you can see you're a witch, but she still feels, you know, they're still going to execute you because sight in this world leads to destruction because obviously centuries ago, people would sight into the world the hints to the show and all that good stuff. So it's really interesting to see this dynamic between those two characters. And they have some moments in this episode that, to me, spells that they're going to probably come together. And this is probably a character we can look forward to meeting and learning more about. But that's kind of the first half of the episode as we transition to the second half. And this is, to me, with the second, this is really what gets me excited for the second season. It's the world building, right? It reminded me so much of first season and also in this first episode the Game of Thrones, the politics, right? The, the 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 people not trusting each other, the world building that establishes itself as we go to the city of Pensa, as it becomes the new capital of Payan and the kingdom. And it's it's more or less kind of like Westeros, right? So I'm loving all the kind of Game of Thrones. Again, the politics of Game of Thrones is some of the best. The world building is some of the best I've ever seen. So I love how this show, again, is establishing itself in the lore, in the world building, which is really setting itself up pretty well in this first episode. But let's go into the two sisters here as they make it to their destination and Magra is returned there and people are like excited to see her oh the princess is back and we see that hatred that jealousy that her sister has but we also see going back to my Game of Thrones kind of comparison the plotting of the backstabbing and, and the politics and, and the control of the kingdom right as we see the sisters have to worry about these two brothers as we meet this new character Lord Heron and his brother seem to want to have control over the kingdom so let's talk a little bit about Lord Heron Ron, as he begins to question the attack of Queen Cain's last destination, and he's starting to, again, planting the seeds to have these sisters go at each other. Does that sound pretty familiar? The Stark sisters, as hopefully maybe these sisters will team up and take out these brothers. That's something to maybe talk about in future episodes. But meanwhile, Hanawa is fighting with Ren, and she ultimately gets the upper hand, has the opportunity to kill her, but she doesn't, which again goes back to me saying, I think that these two characters will partner up together and eventually work with each other and we'll meet more people that have sight so let's go to Paris and Kofu as they're chased down by witch hunters which I'm like oh no things are not going to turn out well but we learn that these witch hunters are actually sent from Magra as they have to ultimately decide Kofu's going to go and meet his mom which we'll see if his journey is as smooth as we hope it is but also Paris is going to stay back for she can obviously meet Baba Voss and Hanawa, so they have to go their separate ways there. So we go back to uh, Lord Heron, who, like I said, is doing his best impersonation of Littlefinger of Game of Thrones as he's trying to split the sisters up as he tells Magra, you would be the better queen, which she would be because Queen Cain is pretty cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, right? But speaking of Queen Cain, we see her doing her devilish things and doing a pretty big announcement as she talks about the attack on her people, but more importantly, she has a baby in her and the father is Boots and that this baby is going to have sight and she is now open to the idea of people without sight and with sight working together. So this is like, who, who, who queen is this? This isn't the Queen Cain I know, even though we know she's manipulating the situation. But again, it will be very interesting to see this whole thing shape out with the baby Boots being in the mix. We really didn't get much of him in this episode. He popped up every now and then. But again, this this child, will it have sight? Only time will tell. But again, Queen Kane, she is fantastic. But let's go back to my man, Baba Voss, as he literally goes through hell to find his daughter. He It appears that he's been betrayed. But, you know, to these men, Smitty and his men, they think that they got Baba Voss. Baba Voss takes them out pretty easily. Again, the action of this show is so fantastic. He's just the master of kills. He's got the sword. Again, more of the necks being split. There was a particular kill where he literally put the, the, the throat... He had the knife and stabbed it slowly in the man's head, tossed him on the ground. The knife goes out on the other side of his head. Again, the choreography in this show is so, so damn good. But ultimately, unfortunately, Baba Voss is over, overtaken by the uh, the people of the, the town and the soldiers. And he's captured, ultimately, which we wrap up the episode with Paris being by herself. But she comes across this group of people. I don't know if these are people of sight, if these are, you know, wanderers. 
Only time will tell in the weeks ahead, but we end with the moment I've been waiting for, which is Baba Vice and his brother Ito as they have this conversation. You can feel the tension in the room between these two guys. Again, Dave Bautista is such a great actor. I love what Jason Momoa has to bring. And again, the tension, you can feel it there. But we end with Ito having the conversation because we obviously learned that in this episode that Baba Vice is responsible for the death of their father and Ito has been looking for him for 25 winters and he now has them in his possession. He tells his man to begin and they begin to torture Baba Vice into the episode so it it really gets me excited based on this first episode again the action I love it it's so bloody it's so brutal and I love every second of it but that's fantastic they continue that within this first episode but really what gets me excited is the world building we go to Pensa we get this new capital we have the queen and and, you know obviously her sister Magra and them going against Heron and his brother and all the politics and backstabbing and control obviously what's going to go on with the baby sight having sight isn't a bad thing anymore so much going on there and I'm just really excited to see where this show goes and obviously see how things shape up and meeting more of these characters and see how things play out in the end of this season so really enjoyed this premiere episode like I said up top I will be reviewing this every single week here on this channel so if you want to go on this journey with me definitely hit the notification bell if you've stuck around to this point in the video I appreciate every single one of you all just a friendly reminder to like the video share the video again leave your thoughts in the comments and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hope you all enjoyed this review hope you're staying safe And we'll see you on the next video. Take care, everybody.